Hello, family of light, and welcome back to my channel. This is Davida with the Medium of the Light Tarot. Thank you for joining me today, Taurus. This is going to be a love reading for you. This is going to be a little bit different. Spirit asked me to do just one deck. This is the Twin Flame Journey Oracles by Mystic Moon Oracles. She's a good YouTuber on here, so you should check her, her out. Now, if this reading resonates with you, please do a um, like because it does help to distribute this around to other Tauruses who need to hear this healing message. Now, I also ask that um, the collective higher selves of Taurus come, whoever's going to be, you know, listening to this that's going to resonate for, to have spirit come in and give you all the information that you need to make a healing decision, you know, whatever the case may be. And welcome all of my new subscribers. So we've got grief, reinvention, understanding, and metamorphosis. Okay, Spirit, what's this about? I feel like you made a decision to turn away from someone. I feel it was out of self-preservation that you did so. And that you felt like you needed to reinvent yourself, expand yourself. You were very wounded. Did this person wound them? No, this person did not wound you. What I'm getting from spirit is that you were already wounded. And you needed to back it up. And you had the understanding that you needed to have this me um, metamorphosis here. I feel like this person was kind of taken aback and a little crushed. Because they were like, I, I thought things were going well. And indeed they were but you realized that you were wounded and that you needed, that you wanted to approach someone with a fresh start. You didn't want to come into a relationship with someone where you're like, well, you know, I'm kind of screwed up, you know, so good for you for having that, that mentality or flip the storyline if, you know, that's your person. So with this reinvention, it's almost like, you know, you, you really do want to start anew. You have this deep desire. I feel like that you need to, um, you really need to go within and do some healing because you realize this is a, a soulmate connection and that you understand that and you need to make sure that you approach this in the right way. I feel like this was kind of a fairly, like you guys have been dating for a while. I think it, was, it seems like it was kind of an off and on thing where you guys were very friendly, but it was nothing real heavy. And then recently it started getting to where you guys were both recognizing that this is something amazing. But, you know, and I feel like it's hard for you to say, you know, I need, I need time. I think it was very hard for you to back away, but you were embarrassed because you wanted to keep it balanced while you're like, oh no, you know, I'm perfectly fine. It's just because I'm, I'm busy. Instead of going into the real reason of, I'm recognizing that there's a union that's possible here and it scares you to death. You know, so you've got working through your grief, backing away, wanting this fresh start and knowing that this is this possibility of union is right there. But congratulations to you for realizing that if you don't do this work now, there could be a big catastrophe in the future. I'm hearing something about your mom's, your mom has spoke to you about this, you know, like make sure you're coming into a relationship with a fresh, clean, well, not about clean, but you know, a healed heart as much as possible. Does it have to be perfect? No. 
and the soulmate wants you to come back. The soulmate's like, well, no, you know, it's like I said, this is kind of a newish situation. So you guys haven't had super deep conversations. I think part of it is because you haven't really opened up about what's going on and they're just going, well, I, you know, come back. You know, and right now you just need some solitude and there's nothing wrong with telling them that. I mean, if, you know, if you just told them it was because you were too busy at work, why don't you just say, hey, I just need some time. Some emotional stuff's come up and I want to work on it. All right. What is this about? Is this a time frame? This is a twofold situation here. I know oh, you can't see it. With this fall card, I'm getting that you feel like your inner world is like all dried up and shriveled and at the end of its cycle. So maybe possibly you're also concerned that maybe you, you know, you're, you're, you're an older person and you, you can't have children or you don't want to have children and you're concerned that this person might want to. And then I'm also getting the, what's for it? That for some of you, there'll be something significant happen for the two of you together in the fall. In the very late fall is what I just heard. But I feel that this is a concern of yours and maybe that's where the talk isn't coming. You know, maybe you're a younger person and you can't have children or for whatever reason. And you're scared that, you know, this isn't fertile ground anymore. And you guys haven't had that discussion. But I think if you have that discussion, it will be okay. It will be telling enough for you to go, oh, well, I was right in my assumption, or oh, no, they're okay with it. I feel at the same time that you are, when I was talking about this working, that you are concerned about your finances right now. That you might have been um, having struggles at work or your hours have been cut. And for a few of you, you lost your job. So I could see why you'd be wanting to back it up, you know, but this person's like, no, I want you to return. And you're ready. You're in the midst. You're right in the eye of the storm as far as doing your shadow work, doing your, you know, doing that healing. And you don't want to go into this with them. You feeling like that they're settling. Okay. So a large part of this too is self-esteem issues for you. You know, if what I said was true about the not being in fertile ground, you know, you don't want them to settle, but it's also that you don't think you're good enough. I mean, there's plenty of people who don't want children. There's plenty of people who want to adopt children. So you need to go in with that mindset of, <clears throat> excuse me, I am going to heal. I'm going to look at those parts and every part of you is lovable. Every part of you is, you know, yearning to be loved. I mean, look at this. This person doesn't care. You know, and the more that you open yourself up to feeling your feelings of self-worth problems, that sort of thing, because don't, you know, because this is, this is almost like, to me, a, a whole sabotage. You know, don't sabotage yourself. Don't sabotage your life. And what I heard from Spirit is that this wouldn't be the first time. So really go in, go into meditation, go into counseling, you know, go and feel your feelings, go and talk to whomever you want to talk to, friends, family, support, and talk to them too. Because I think if you bust the bubble and go to this person and just express yourself, no matter what the reaction they have, 
but I don't think it's going to be a bad reaction. It's going to help you build the confidence to be able to communicate with people. Because if you want a long-term soulmate loving connection, you have to be willing to be vulnerable to get this new start here in this union. Because I feel like this is going to happen. You just need to kind of get out of your way. And spirit was saying, yeah, so they agreed with me. <laughs> so this is what you're doing right now, my dear. Might be doing some numbing, whatever that is to you. Drinking, smoking, playing too much video games, sleeping too much, whatever your distraction is, eating too much. You know, this person is devoted and really does want to move this forward with you. Even though this, you know, might be for the majority of you a newish situation. And, you know, newish is what, however you want to calculate it. But I know I said calculate. Um, Spirit says that's pretty much all that they wanted to say on this one. Stop sabotaging yourself. You got a soulmate right here. Open up to them. Do your healing about your insecurities. Because you're just sabotaging yourself. You need to break the cycle. And this is the video that's going to bitch slap you about it. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Taurus, I hope that you enjoyed this. Like I said, please, please, please put a like on this video so other Tauruses in the same sort of situation can hear this as well. And if you feel so inclined, please leave a comment because I'm nosy. I like to hear about people's scenario and how it matches up with theirs. All right, you guys, see you on the flip side.